good morning guys so today i am going out with my mum for a little mooch around town um which we do every now and then we don't do it as often we literally used to go every saturday back in the day <laughs> and we don't shop as often anymore so i'm really excited to see my mum for one and go into town it's a lovely sunny day look at this sunshine um so we're really lucky because it has been quite rainy like yesterday was very very rainy um, so yeah, so it's nice. Um, I've got on probably the most boring basic outfit in the world, which I'll show you a bit later. Um, but I just wanted to be comfortable today and yeah, it's so nice when it's a little bit warmer though because I hate wearing trousers at the moment. Like nothing I have fits. Um, not complaining, but trousers are hard enough when you don't have a huge belly. Um, I really struggle with trousers. I have quite short legs, but I'm quite curvy. So I feel like finding that perfect pair of trousers has never really happened. The same with jeans. So it's even harder now. So if I can pop on a little dress, at the moment I've got like a little tube skirt on, I just feel more comfortable and more happy <laughs> in what I'm wearing. I thought it'd be nice today to take you along with me. I thought I would show you what's new in like Primark and H&M, especially Primark because you can't buy that online. So I thought I'd just show you what's new in the shops because I don't think we're going shopping as much as we used to, especially in town. And sometimes it's just nice seeing what's in the shops, what they've paired things with. So I thought I would do that today. But I'm just waiting for Chris to get back from a dog walk and then I'm going to nip to the post office quickly and um, I've been selling loads and bits and bobs on vintage um you know bits and bobs that maybe don't fit me or I don't wear anymore just so they get a lovely second home and they can be loved and worn by someone else I think that's really important so I've been selling a lot of bits and bobs on vintage but that always means that I have to go to the post office before I do anything <laughs> because I can't stand when I have orders waiting to go. So I'm gonna go and do that before my mum comes, hopefully. And then we're gonna go off into town for a little coffee and a little mooch and yeah, come with me. I'll show you what I'm wearing as well. So this is my outfit. I've left my shoes downstairs, but I'll show you them later. I've got the most amazing chunky shoes from Next that look just like DMs without the price tag. So I'm loving those. Um, I'll show you those in a bit, but um, yeah, the most basic outfit award goes to me. <laughs> So I've got this tube skirt on which has a little slit here. This is from Matterland. Um, it fits really, or Matalan. I always say Matterland. Matalan. <laughs> um, it fits around here quite nicely. Um, I've got a grey t-shirt which I've tucked in. I've got my little Pandora charm which I love. And then this H&M denim shirt which to be honest I'm living in because it covers up my bum. And in this skirt you do get quite bad nickel lines. Um, so rather than wearing really uncomfortable knickers all day, I've just covered it up with a big shirt. My hair was super curly this morning, but as you can see, it has gone quite straight. I'm going to give it another spritz of hairspray and hope that that holds, but my hair just never holds anyway. So there we go. That is plavers of hair. Um, these were the other outfits I was going to wear. Um, I've got this little crew um, dress that I showed you recently, little Saint and Sophia one and little H&M one. But I just decided against them. I thought they were all a bit too floaty for what I was feeling today. So they're just hanging around there. So yeah, I also popped on some little bit of fake tan on my ankles because they were looking super, super pasty. Like that looks pasty on there, but they were even worse than that. Um, and I used this, the Isle of Paradise Disco Tan, which is an instant wash off body bronzer. Really, really rate this, guys. If you, like me don't really tan very easily or you don't use fake tan on the regular but you are showing your ankles it makes such a difference if you've got a little bit of tan and all I did I don't feel a bit yeah you can probably see all I did was tan up to my knees because you're not going to see my thighs anyway um and it just looks a little bit more like glowy and I know you can only see a tiny bit but it makes so much difference with shoes it makes your ankles look a lot more streamlined <laughs> I don't want to say skinny because that's the wrong kind of word we don't really care about being skinny um but it just makes your ankles just look a bit more I don't know pleasant in shoes so yeah I really recommend this um any sort of you know, um, leave on tan is good I did put a gradual tan on underneath but then I realized that wasn't gonna give me instant brownness so yeah Isle of Paradise lovely products and um, I really like this so you just wash it off I did use a mitt as you can see um, just in case because I didn't want it to go all smeary and get on my hands so applying with a mitt really helps but anyway I'm talking so much 
I'm out of breath. Um, so I'll see you in a bit when I'm in town, probably. <laughs> shops nice lunch things like that but I feel so tired and drained I sometimes forget that I'm carrying around a little bit extra at the moment so yeah I'm feeling sleepy you can probably tell by my really croaky voice it's also quarter past quarter past nine I've only just got out of the shower um it is a Friday today so it's fine I'll start work a bit later and finish a bit later no issues but um but yeah I'm just putting on a tiny bit of makeup today mostly because i'm vlogging otherwise i probably wouldn't bother <laughs> um but i just thought i'd pop on the camera because i just wanted to show you a few products that i've been loving at the moment and to be honest i don't think we all need them <laughs> um i'm just popping on some laura mercier primer this is the pure canvas primer and illuminating and it's always really good for giving you like a bit of glow look at that glow um and it's nice under your makeup as well because obviously your makeup dulls the glow a bit so it's not too much and um, so I just kind of put it on my cheeks um, and anywhere that you get like a natural glow if you were like in the gym or something or a bit sweaty <laughs> and just on my head as well and a little bit on my nose and because it's a primer it makes your makeup stick which is great let me turn this up a bit oh, there we go are we a bit brighter now now we're a bit more bright. Um, so the next product that I have that I really, 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 really love is this. This is by Ouroborean Korean Skin Therapy and it's a Super BB um, Anti-Imperfections um, BB Cream. So basically it's like a lighter foundation, I guess. This is actually high coverage, I didn't realise. Um, providing more coverage than the original BB Cream. Conceals imperfections, redness and dark spots. It leaves a natural velvety finish and perfectly even complexion. At first, I thought this was too dark for me and I was like, oh no, but actually it's really, really, really not. Um, it's the perfect colour. Um, it looks a bit dark, but actually it's more of like a beigey colour than some foundations. And I find that this works really, really well. I'll do half my face and show you the other half just so you can see the coverage that it does give. Um, I always use like a damp sponge to apply it and I just find it's really really good it's actually what I've been using every single day at the moment it just feels lighter than a foundation but it gives me sometimes it gives me a better finish than a foundation so I've been loving it recently so I thought I would show you okay so see the difference oh my god <laughs> so this has got it obviously I mean, I'm always a bit dark under my eyes. I put some concealer on, but this side doesn't. Can you see the difference with that? Like, this little tube is a miracle worker. And it's also SPF as well, SPF 20. Um, it makes such a difference. It just kind of evens everything out. I never get any kind of flare-ups or spots because my skin has been quite sensitive recently. Um, ever since I got the dreaded virus, I've been having like rashes and stuff but this is definitely not aggravated that at all and um, i'm just gonna pop a bit of concealer on i'm using tarte shape tape at the moment it's okay i wouldn't say it was like the most amazing concealer but i am yet to find that concealer that just actually covers everything i think sometimes i need color correction more than i do concealer i do have quite dark circles underneath my eyes and this will help, but it's not like, you know, it doesn't erase it. But then I guess it's probably quite hard to. <laughs> I'm running out of my bare minerals.
<laughs> Benny's having a cinema day today watching The Lion King. <laughs> His favourite film. <laughs> Right, I'm back from my dog walk um, with Bernie and I'm just going to sort out my hair because it's a bit unruly. I'm actually on day three of washing my hair today, which I think is pretty good going. Um, but I put some Instagram pictures of me on yesterday and loads of people asked how I had curled my hair. So I thought I would just do a really, really quick, like this is how I did it yesterday <laughs> kind of style because... I'm not going to do the whole head of hair because I'm not really going anywhere. I'm literally just going to go to probably get a dry through decaf flat white because that's about as exciting as today's going to get. Um, but I thought I'd show you how I do it. So I use my, GH, I think these are the GHD Curve tongs. But you can use anything that has um, this kind of clippy bit. That's what we're going to call it, clippy bit. You want to grab a section of hair like so like so you want to put the clippy you want to put the curlers on and then curl up like this and you basically have this section left out obviously it depends how long your hair is how short your hair is but this is a really good way of getting like a bit of body at the at the root and a bit of curl at the root so then you want to drag the curlers out you can unclip this to do it you've got to be really careful and then you want to drag it right to the bottom and then curl up again and this just basically curls like the whole section of hair. Obviously you're doing every bit, ooh, obviously you're doing every bit a few times. So it's gonna take a little bit longer than your average curl. But as you can see, that just gives a curl kind of right from the top as well. Yeah, so if you do that, it kind of helps to just curl the entire section of hair rather than just at the bottom so that's what i've been doing recently if i really want my hair to be super curly um but yeah you just have to be careful but once you get the hang of it it's actually quite easy kind of like your hand kind of flows into that direction um and yeah it just gives a really nice kind of wave and then i leave them to cool down before I touch them and break them all up and stuff so you want to just leave them alone basically and then the front sections I don't really do that I just kind of wrap the front sections around like so just to give a bit of a softer wave there so I just did a few curls through my hair today because like I said I couldn't be bothered to section it all off like yesterday but this is how it looks if you just pop a few curls like on the top and underneath layers as you can see it just gives it kind of like that natural wave that is actually sometimes quite hard to get if you've got dead straight hair like me. Um, but yeah, just kind of gives a bit more body and texture to your hair. And also I have to sleep with my hair up. So I always get this really bad like dent in my hair when my hair's been up. So this just kind of softens that a little bit. But yeah, day three hair, not too bad to be honest. I'm quite surprised. So that is how I did it. If you want to see like a really quick 15 20 second tutorial on that look then i have uploaded a reel over on my instagram so make sure you guys go and check that out if it's not up yet then it'll be up next week so it will come very soon um but yeah you can save it on instagram and revert back to it if it's easier over there so yeah easy hair right now we're going to go and get a dry fruit coffee because just need to get out of the house a little bit and then I'm going to start my backlog of editing and work and hanging washing out. <laughs> so I thought I would just show you a couple of the bits that I got yesterday. Um, so I picked this little t-shirt up in H&M. I upsized in this just so that it fits everywhere. Um, but I really like this. I feel like this kind of shirt is just an absolute staple in a wardrobe. Um, a stripy t-shirt you cannot go wrong with. And then I picked up these like jogging bottoms. Now this is something that I've really struggled with. My jogging bottoms do not fit and I really am a creature of comfort. I love wearing like cozy joggers around the house. So I knew I needed a pair. These were also from H&M. These are the maternity range. They come up super, super high um, and they fit really, really well. So those are the joggers that I got and also they look really nice with my um my next sandals i'm not going to put them on because i'm indoors but as you can see if you pick if you like lift the joggers up and put the sandals on 
they just kind of look quite cool so um i really like those i also picked up this bag and this was from um primark this was five pound and it's the perfect little bag for like parcels and food shopping but also i think it's meant to be a beach bag but i love the color of this it's kind of like a denim but it's like neon orange and as you can see i love some orange um so i was really pleased with this i did get this online from h&m this is a maternity one. If you want to see this on, head over to my Instagram because I'll have a Reels wearing this and how I styled it. Also picked up this stripy skirt, um, which was from Primark. This was £7. It's really comfortable, really cute. Um, maybe I'll show you that on another time. But yeah, I love this and I think it would look really cute with like a little white t-shirt. So that was £7, which is such a bargain. And then other than that, I got a black dress, which isn't very interesting, but just a plain black dress, again, goes to the ankle. Um, I think these kind of things for summer are really handy. Obviously, um, myself and Chris, we shoot weddings in summer and I think it's going to be hot. It has been hot in the past, especially in July. We have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of weddings. Um, so I'm always trying to pick up little like bits and bobs that I might be able to wear to shoot weddings in because especially at the moment my usual like uniform of black trousers and a t-shirt doesn't actually fit so I'm having to like pick up new little bits here and there but um I have a lot in, of black in my wardrobe I am trying to sway away from wearing too much black but I find it so hard because black is just what I feel the most comfortable in but um I did buy the pink dress so I just have to wear it <laughs> and um what else did I buy? Is that all? I got some little hair scrunchies in Primark. Of course, I always buy hair scrunchies in Primark. It's just the law. <laughs> so yeah, I bought some little baby bits as well, which were all packed away. Um, and maybe I'll show you the baby's room if you guys would like to see that. So if you don't want to see that, then just skip to the end of this video. But um, let's go and have a look, just because some of you have been asking to see the baby room. <laughs> So this is how it's looking so far. We have this lovely rug, which was from H&M, and I love this. And then we have this basket, which I picked up in TK Maxx. This was £16. I thought this would be really good for, like, washing and stuff. We've got some giraffe curtains, which we wanted something kind of neutral in here. Um, and this was the only thing we could find. We haven't got really, like, a theme, but giraffes has kind of come become the theme, as you can see up here. Um, my mum bought both of these giraffes and this I've had for years so I donated it to the baby's room and we also have a little frog guy hanging out here and so then we have the cot which is from Tutti Bambini and I really like it because it has this changing mat on the top I've put this on here just to I don't know every time I come in here and I see this I feel a bit more confident and I don't know it's quite a nice reminder that you know I don't know things to come um, and then I got this changing mat from Amazon and um, my mum knitted us a lovely blanket which I've just popped in there for now and this is a mattress for the bedside cot um but yeah it's quite a small room but we've done what we can with it we've also got this wardrobe which was from Habitat via Argos and um, I probably wouldn't recommend it because it was a nightmare to build and it was really damaged so we just got some money off of it because there is no way we were taking it back down after building it and then obviously I've got my little rainbow hanging here which i see every time i come upstairs and just kind of keeps me feeling a little bit more positive we have a little few bits to put up on the wall we've got some shelves and um, i'm doing a cross stitch at the moment so this room is almost finished um pretty much which is crazy but we'd already painted it all and everything so yeah it's feeling a bit more real but i did mention at the beginning of this video that i would talk about kind of pregnancy after loss and how it's been um because a lot of you guys that maybe are pregnant after miscarriages or infertility had got in touch with me and asked how i found it because i didn't really speak about it and um, i didn't like tell anyone on the internet that i was pregnant until after our 20 week scan so that kind of says it all really um but i would say that i felt more confident this time around but for me it was very different i hadn't been pregnant for three years so we had four miscarriages quite close together and then complete infertility so it took three years um and obviously we had ivf so to even be pregnant felt like a massive milestone had been turned for me personally but obviously once I reached that milestone and the, few, the kind of few weeks went on I then felt like I just needed to get past the 
kind of milestone of miscarriage <laughs> I just needed to get past the miscarriage milestones is what I called them and that was like the time when we had miscarriages in the past I thought I would feel better once I got past that point and um, all of ours were kind of before nine to ten weeks so once I kind of reached 12 weeks I was like thinking in my head I'm going to be so confident and this is happening but I got to 12 weeks and those worries were still there and I think that's really normal and even though now I'm 24 weeks going on to 25 weeks I still feel worried and nervous and you know if baby isn't moving as much I get a bit like het up about it and in my head I get a little bit like you know oh is everything okay and I have spoken to some people about this and I think this is how it's going to be until baby is here and I think that is generally how pregnancy after loss is miscarriage and loss takes away the naivety of pregnancy for so many of us and it really has for me it kind of has changed you know how being pregnant probably would be if I hadn't gone through miscarriages the first time I fell pregnant was completely different to this time this pregnancy and my other pregnancies as well I didn't really think about having a baby until much much later like maybe after 20 weeks um, and even now you know even now I'm like oh fingers crossed everything's okay all the time and um, if anyone congratulates us it's like oh you know fingers crossed um, which can confuse some people because they're like what do you mean fingers crossed but for us that's what it's like so I really think if you're pregnant at the moment and you have experienced any sort of loss miscarriage stillbirth you know even infertility just I think what you have to do is just take it easy on yourself and don't blame yourself and maybe not enjoying pregnancy in the same way. Maybe don't, you know, put pressure on yourself to feel happy about things because actually you just have to get through each day. And I think that's what I really did. I felt really guilty for not, you know, not wanting to t tell people I was pregnant or not wanting to talk about it. And I think that you just have to sometimes give yourself a little break. You've been through quite a lot <laughs> um, and anyone would be the same. And it's what I've said millions and millions of times before. It's like someone in a shark attack in the ocean, then having to get back in the ocean for a swim. You're not gonna jump right in and enjoy it and love it like you were the first time. It's gonna take a few attempts. It's gonna take some worries. It's gonna take some fear and to be honest you're not going to relax until you get out of the water that is what i liken it to because it's it's very similar apart from the shark attack part um but yeah so that's kind of how i've been finding it really and even now um like you know doing the baby's room and buying things it can take it can catch me off guard it can you know it can, I don't know, it, it can play with my mind a little bit and worry me and I just want anyone out there that's feeling the same to know that you are not alone, it's completely normal and you know, you you will get through it and you will feel better but I'm not saying that it's an easy ride when you get to the end either because to be honest, I still dread every scan and I still feel better for about a day after a scan and then I kind of count down the time to the next one so yeah, I think it's normal to feel this way if you do have any questions about you know our journey infertility miscarriage um ivf um pregnancy after loss all that kind of stuff then leave them down below in the comments or you can always dm me on instagram if you'd rather keep them private or email me my email address is down below in the description box as well and maybe i'll do a little lattes with flora like a pregnancy miscarriage infertility edition and um, because i feel like you know this kind of thing is helpful and not many people are talking about this because obviously not everyone has the same experiences of loss and infertility um but i know a lot of you um guys watching do so leave any questions you have down below or whatever message me and maybe that's something that i can do i just want anyone out there to know if you're having if you are struggling at the moment with miscarriage or loss or infertility um I really hope that you can kind of watch my videos and tune into my content and have some hope because I really didn't have any hope um, and this isn't a boo-hoo is me but last May I was told I had stage 4 endometriosis and everything was just in my body was just messed up and I really thought that was the end of the road I really didn't think that I would ever have children and in my head I was like you know what here are the pros of not having children I have to focus on that so it took me a long time to 
appreciate and it took me a long time to get used to the fact that we were pregnant and it still does um so i just hope that that kind of gives you guys some hope um and if you are in the thick of infertility and miscarriage i'm sending you so much love because i've been there i still feel it now and it's hard it's tough and you are a superstar for even surviving through it i promise so yeah sending you a big love um everyone watching this but mostly those that are having maybe having a hard time right now um but yeah so thank you so much for watching guys i'm now going to do a load of editing because i got up late today <laughs> and um i have loads of work to catch up on um, and i have to edit this vlog for sunday so i'm going to edit this vlog get this all uploaded and i just want to say thank you for watching thank you for engaging with my content and thank you for just being a lovely bunch of people watching me Thank you guys and I'll see you next week for another vlog. Bye!